Check it. Hi, my name is Ed Griswold. In today's StreamBreeze tutorial, I'd like to show you how to use wait for it triggers that's right triggers uh, everything you've seen up till now has been accomplished through the use of triggers from the time I hit the space bar to switch from a black to the plain old logo to switching to my camera view uh, my lower third and the word triggers everything has been done using using triggers so what I'm going to do is just kind of show you the basic function of a trigger uh, so well, let's see. So I'm gonna bring in. Uh, let's bring in an input. I'm gonna bring in a video. I'm gonna browse and go get my video. Okay. Add the video. And uh, next, I need something to trigger with it. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring a, a, a separate title in. Uh, now this title. I'm, I'm not gonna edit the title or anything. I'm gonna leave it the way it is, generic, uh, just for this demonstration. So what I want is when this video plays, for a trigger to pop up, which, you know, this could be a camera, it could be anything, because the triggers work with any, any of the content. Um, so when I switch to this video, two seconds will go by, then the trigger will pop up, the name tr will be triggered, the lower third, and then it will stay on for X number of seconds, and then go away. So completely automating it. So I'm going to go into the videos properties and select triggers and I'm going to say on transition. Now you can see that you can trigger things based on uh, on completion. So if something when something finishes play, like what I did uh, coming in and the uh, coming in from from my logo, I triggered it to switch from the after the after that ended up playing to switch to my camera view. So you're on completion, and you have on transition in and on transition out. Those are your, your three conditions of what occurs to when the trigger will happen. I'm going to do this on transition in. So when we transition to the clip, I want it to overlay. And you can see there, there are just a list of all types of things you can do uh, with triggers. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to select overlay on uh, overlay input number one, channel one on the overlay. There are, remember there are four overlay channels, and I want to I want the text, the title. That's what, you select what's going to you know what's going to be overlaid in a trigger, and then you also have your duration. You know basically at your transition in period. Uh, right now it's to 500, which is half a second. I'm going to knock that down to 200. To 200 milliseconds, and right now it's at the zero also. So if I were to trick, if this trigger were to happen, it would as soon as I switched to the video, it would immediately activate this trigger. So I want to delay it. So I'm going to delay it by uh, two seconds. So I'm going to type in 2,000 milliseconds, and then click the add button. So the next thing I want to happen is I want the trigger, I want that overlay to stay on for two seconds and then dissolve go away so I'm gonna add another one uh, they're gonna on on transition address the overlay again because you, you can you can stack these and they, and they, they basically they ha they occur in order one after another so depending on what you want to happen and when you want to ha want it to happen, you put them in the order, the necessary order. Uh, select my title, click dissolve. Now I want remember I want this to stay on for two seconds, so I'm going to put two thousand again, and click the add button. So I've got two triggers here. So when we transition in. After the transition in, wait two, th uh, two seconds, play, wait another two seconds, dissolve. I'm gonna close that up. Those MP4 in my preview, and I'm going to switch to it. 
and one there you got two seconds on two seconds off that quick that, that simple uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little, little quick tutorial I hope you can uh, find some use with it uh, be, don't be afraid to experiment try using some of the other triggers and see what happens uh, again my name is Ed Griswold I'm with the stream breeze uh, thanks so much for watching have a great day kick it